water too much so what we'll do is we'll pour in the opposite direction so usually I pour from side to side but today actually for a change I'm going to pour from top to bottom so long ways so start pouring the lines like this and actually if you pour the lines like this out of the jug it's much quicker process So again, at this stage, no need to be terribly precious. It is a good idea to try and get uh, right to the sides of the mould. So we'll pour some um, golden shimmer. And so just keep pouring. Actually, this time it shouldn't take too long. And so now some of the orange, the neon orange. And actually I'm going to try and pull the lines a bit closer together so that my final pattern looks a lot more detailed. And the technique I'm going to show you today is called the, um, let's pour some black soap, it's called the fleur de lis. And so it's a nice sort of um, kind of floral effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep pouring like I usually do. And uh, I will see you in about five minutes time when I've poured all the lines. Okay. So see you in a sec. Okay, so um, I have uh, poured all the soap, basically. So they're the lines again. So I haven't been super precious about it because we're going to make our pattern now. So it's a slightly different pattern. All I'm going to use today is my um, metal thermometer yeah um, not going to use the comb today uh, so let's get started so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very standard sort of swell uh, you see this on uh, cakes you'll um, see lots of soapers use this technique but this is the basis for my fleur de lis pattern so I start in the corner and then I basically just bring the stick towards me and then I will go in the other direction and I just go up and down. So basically I want to try and keep the pattern fairly tight, reasonably tight. So up and down. And so because I've pulled my lines so that they're um, sort of quite close together and reasonably thin, uh, then I um, get basically uh, a nice sort of feathery pattern um, and so from here I can see this uh, gold mica glistening basically at me it looks absolutely gorgeous so I keep going and the black magic has made a really really nice uh, deep black so so now I've come to the end basically and so that's my basic pattern so that looks pretty gorgeous anyway as is and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep some tissue here so I can keep wiping off my um, thermometer as I go. Right, so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make um, S-shaped patterns and I'm basically going to um, bring the, the thermometer towards me. So I'll start a little away from the corner. So the corner's there. So I'm going to start about here. I put my um, stick all the way into the bottom and I just make some S. down so um, try to keep it fairly tight so that you get some nice detail on your finished bar so that's one okay so I started I started about here so now I am going to um, sort of do it in the opposite direction but um, I'm going to pull the stick towards me again so 
there we go. So I'm matching the um, kind of S pattern that I did in the previous movement. I'm going to wipe my stick again. And so um, basically I'm going to start swirling again. Uh, I can do it. Hold on. Uh, so if I started there, I started there, okay, so I shall start here. So as you may have noticed, um, you have to kind of keep an eye on where you were swelling before. dragging the stick towards you. There we go. And now I'm going to get um, a little more tissue. Okay, so um, I carry on swelling. So I drag the stick towards me in these S-shaped patterns, trying to match the previous S that I've done, but in the opposite direction, if that makes sense. So just keep swelling, keep trying to match the previous swells that I've done. There we go, and I'm almost finished now. Keep going, keep swelling, keep dragging that stick towards me. Okay, so, and there is my finished swell.